Hey folks, today we are going to talk about terminating a PowerWise cable onto our HDJ jack. I'm going to show you a few tech tips on how to do that because this is a larger gauge wire being the PowerWise cable. This is a 20 duke gauge wire. All right, the first thing we're going to do is strip back some of our cable. Now this is your personal choice on how much to strip back depending on how you like your leads. Again, notice conductors are a little thicker, but the twists are for 5E. So from here, the typical installation is the same as, as of any cable. The only difference is, again, when we separate our leads into these grooves, we're going to have to pull a little harder to make sure we're inside the grooves. First thing I do is separate my conductors. Of note, make sure you pull this lacing cap all the way down to the top of the jacket, because if you have any space, your conductors could loosen up. Look at my cap, my lacing cap, blue, green, rotate it around, brown and orange. And from here, you want to separate your conductors to the right color code. So this is the point. You just have to pull into the grooves. As long as you have a little strength to pull that down, that's going to help you out. You don't want those leads floating above the grooves. Otherwise, you could have some opens inside your IDCs. So when you're done, half of that jack should look just like that. One tip is to pull your conductor straight out from the lacing cap and not to bend them down. It makes it easier to trim and keeps your wire conductors tight. I'll rotate my cable, keeping my thumb on top, and separate these leads. My blue pair will rotate and pull into the grooves. And now the green. Again, making sure I'm in the grooves of the lacing cap. Double check my color code. What about that? We're going to fix that. Two seconds of looking saves two minutes of fixing it down the road. White blue, white green, white orange, white brown. I like to use my angle cutters to get nice and trimmed to the edge. I'm taking my time here so I can show you. Notice all conductors are in all the grooves. Now I take my HCJ module and I find the top of the lacing cap. It says top. Top of my module says top. I slide them together. There should be no resistance at all. And I take my compression tool, which again says top. Slide it into place. Easy as that. That is your HCJ module onto your PowerWise 1G cable from Spare Essex.